Okay, what if we told you that Marilyn Monroe is alive and well and living in Toronto? Well, you don't buy it probably, or do you? Okay, let's try this. Um, Marilyn Monroe has been reincarnated and living in Toronto. That is the remarkable claim by a doctor who has just written a book about it called Marilyn Monroe Returns, The Healing of a Soul. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Marilyn Monroe is a Hollywood legend, and more than 40 years after her death, she's still one of the most imitated stars in the world. Showbiz tonight with some examples. You've got Madonna. There's Christina Aguilera. A kiss on the hand. And Anna Nicole Smith, just to name a few. They may have tried to duplicate Marilyn's look, but they can't top this. It seems Marilyn Monroe may actually be alive again. Hers was a different twist. She said she had lived as Marilyn Monroe. If you ask psychiatrist Dr. Adrian Finkelstein, he'll tell you Marilyn Monroe has been reincarnated as a nightclub singer from Toronto named Sherry Laird. I was like, I, I don't understand why I feel like I am this person. Sherry Laird tells Showbiz Tonight she always knew she lived another life before, but it wasn't until she connected with Dr. Finkelstein that she became convinced that she has been reincarnated as Marilyn Monroe. I was older when I found out about her, but I was very young when I started feeling about a past life. Finkelstein says he questioned Laird under hypnosis for eight years and is convinced that Laird is the real deal. I've been trained as a, a psychiatrist to assess human behavior and to recognize uh, somebody that's uh, fake uh, from somebody that's genuine. And the way uh, Sherry came across to me the first time when she uh, approached me in 1998 um, uh, it was like a troubled psyche uh, seeking relief. Not notoriety. Sherry Laird even claims she remembers details about Marilyn Monroe's rumored affairs with John F. Kennedy and his brother Robert Kennedy. I seen political things and I seen who talked more about political things and I seen who was better in bed. Sound hard to believe? Decide for yourself. Check out some of the recorded sessions when Laird is under hypnosis. And when did you first meet John Kennedy? Yes. Yes. Were the two of you ever lovers, and if so, when did you first uh, sex with it? In the car. It's car. This one's trying. Does it happen in 1954 or later? Later. When was the last time you saw John Kennedy? What year? No. 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 Laird says she was even surprised by her emotional outburst. I felt like I was going going to die and I that helped me, helped me that I was screaming. Germ regression was help me, save me, because she's gonna kill me. You know what I mean? Like I felt like save Sherry, because I'm gonna die here. That, the doctor says, is just more proof that Laird really is Marilyn Monroe reincarnated. In that particular situation, she really, really was so convincing with her pain, with her crying. Still unresolved, the mystery surrounding Marilyn Monroe's death in 1962. It seems Laird may have the answer. Was the overdose an accident? Were you murdered? No, we're not murdered. Neither Laird nor the doctor says they're out to prove their story. They say it's all about healing broken souls. It's just a case to start bringing attention to reincarnation. The message is so much bigger than Marilyn Monroe, who was just a woman. And you can read the whole story in Dr. Finkelstein's book, Marilyn Monroe Returns the Healing of a Soul. But people obviously are going up to them and saying, you're crazy, <laughs> this is not possible. Right, and I asked them about that. I said, you know what, a lot of people are probably going to say, you're totally nuts. What do you say to that? They said, hey, we really don't care. They say they know reincarnation is real. And AJ, they are sticking to their story no matter what. Well, then let's move now from crazy.